If a vacation to Europe is on your bucket list, you'll soon need extra travel documents to visit 30 popular countries. Experts say even though that it comes with a small price tag, it could actually save you some time getting through the airport. Eventually, you're going to stay all over the world. Most countries will do something like this. Um, it's a, it's a pre-clearance. It's called the European Travel Information and Authorization System. The new travel document will be required for Canadians and other visa-exempt countries who want to travel within the European Union, including popular tourist destinations like France, Greece, Italy, Portugal, Sweden, as well as Iceland, Liechtenstein, Norway, and Switzerland. The UK is not included under this new policy, and that's after it withdrew from the EU in 2020. Generally, what it will do is it'll be your name, your passport number, which will be the big key. Some details like your 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 address, where you're going, how long you're staying, who you're staying with, that type of thing. The application can be done online and costs seven euros, which is about ten dollars and twenty cents Canadian. Now, most applications will be processed within a few minutes, and once approved, it's linked to your passport and valid for up to three years or until your passport expires or you get a new one. Those under 18 or older than 70 and anyone with family living in the EU are exempt from the payment. What it should do is make the travel experience much quicker, ideally if it works properly. The other thing is it should make it much safer. Now, travelers seem to have mixed reaction to the new upcoming process. I feel like it makes sense, like it's definitely more efficient. As long as it's efficient, easy access, quick access, and it, uh, it it speeds things up. I'm all for it. It's it's a little costly, but everybody benefits, so that's fine. It does have to speed up the whole thing, though. That's the only purpose we would be able to we would be willing to pay ten dollars. Otherwise, what's the point? Although the application is expected to be quick for most experts, say it is best to get it done at least a month before your trip, as approval could take up to thirty days if you're asked to provide additional information or documents. Where Nexus card, you have to do the fingerprint, you have to do all that sort of stuff. You know, it's much more involved to get a Nexus card. But think of this as a Nexus card light, because that's essentially what they're trying to do. Now, this type of document isn't exclusive to European countries. Canada actually also has a similar system in place for visa exempt countries called the Electronic Travel Authorization. That became mandatory in 2016. Now, the European travel document is not ready online yet, but it is expected to launch sometime before the rules come into effect in 2024. For City News, I'm Leah Johansson.